Aquarius Collective, hi, welcome to your love reading. I was in meditation and I heard spirits say to do an Aquarius love reading, but this time to check on this person in your energy, the person on your mind or the person in your energy. I also heard spirits say it's been quite the, uh, look, bumping heads at the bottom of the deck. It's been quite the whirlwind roller coaster ride, this love journey. I also heard spirits say, Every time, um, it feels like a lots of tests, um, that every time one person bites the dust or you set your boundary or you cut somebody out or you, you know, um, walk away from one situation, the universe sends you another one immediately, like a, another option immediately, or someone returns or it's, uh, quite interesting what the universe is doing right now. Take that if it's yours. Don't take it if it's not yours. But it feels like every time that you are quick to pick up on your intu in discernment and your intuition that something just isn't for you because it doesn't sound right, feel right, sit right with your soul, with your spirit, with your heart. Uh, masks come off or whatever situation that you feel like you're going in circles with people and they're just not budging, not changing. And then you set that boundary or you decide that you, this isn't for you and you just walk away immediately another door opens so and I was uh, telling my daughter that every single time you do that you do uh say no it feels like it's a test for the universe to to see you know if you're staying committed here right to your intention for yourself if you're staying if you're holding the vision if you're not wavering if you're not settling <clears throat> It feels like you're very close here, okay, to your vision, to what you're manifesting for yourself with uh, these people that the universe sends to you almost immediately, right? Um, when you say, no, thank you. This isn't for me. This isn't for me. This is not what I'm manifesting for myself. <laughs> thank you. Good day, sir. Wish you well, right? The universe immediately sends uh, someone else. <laughs> that fast sometimes same day sometimes the next day sometimes within the same week if that hasn't happened yet try it out <laughs> say no thank you this isn't for me and the universe is going to send you another option immediately right um for you to explore um but again uh we we keep on keeping on but there's a specific person perhaps at this time that's on your mind let's see what the, i already said my prayer i want to thank everyone for being here uh, somebody here may, may be in a family here that they're unhappy with um, or unhappy in, okay? I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel. This this is not all upright. I'm not taking any reversals in this deck today. Um, thank you guys for commenting below, for donating to the channel, scheduling readings with me. I just looked. Uh, Mercury will be going into shadow period. I believe Mercury goes retrograde on the 5th of August, uh, officially, but it'll go into, into a shadow period, um, around the 22nd of this month. So it's right around the corner. I do intend on putting a sale up for my readings at that time. Okay. So uh, I'll let everyone know on the community board and on Instagram when I do that, but okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what this person on your mind, the person on Aquarius's mind, the person in Aquarius's energy. Show me them. Show me this person. Aquarius's energy at this time. You may have more than one person on your energy, in your energy, like I said earlier. Just take what, what resonates, okay? Show me the, what's at the bottom of the deck. Love child, drinking, toxic lifestyle, family, thug life, secret accounts, okay? All right show me this person in Aquarius's energy spirit please show me this person in Aquarius's energy show me this person here in Aquarius's mind I haven't done one of these readings in a while oh boy oh boy so we're talking about somebody here uh is going through some memories of you at this time going through nostalgia having nostalgia okay thinking of you we have effed up over you. And uh, there's another deck I want to use. Let me grab it real quick. Messages from them as well. 
And then we have pregnancy here. So some of them could have gotten somebody pregnant or you may be, <clears throat> you may have gotten pregnant by this person or this person may have gotten somebody pregnant. It says fake news, DNA. So they could be, you know, it may not be their child. I don't know, fam. Uh, take this is kind of one of those one of those messages that you know take what's yours, leave the rest for others. You'll know if this is pertains to you or not. It's a lot of you guys. So let me get some more. This person here, um, again, maybe selfish, right? My way here, stubborn, arrogant, pride and ego. Maybe choosing to operate from their pride, from their ego. <clears throat> Uh, immature energy, but you're closing this cycle. You're closing this cycle with this person. That's what I felt. This uh, karmic cycle. We have this person has secrets. Okay, lots of secrets. They I see here sex addiction. They may just be addicted to you and uh, your t intimate times together. So this person has secrets. You're closing out this cycle with this with this arrogant. A person here that isn't open-minded, isn't open to learning. Oh, well, this person needs to talk. Throat chakra. Isn't open to learning, changing, growing, evolving. So let's get one more here for this person's energy. That's on Aquarius's mind. Fed up. They're fed up with their life. Okay. They're fed up with their stuff, with their bills, with their responsibilities, with their priorities. You're fed up with this person. I heard feelings here. They're in their feelings over you. Blocked. You blocked them. Apparently they love you. They love you, this person, but they see you as you look, bumping heads here again. Oh, this might be your twin flame. Okay. They could be going through some, yeah, they're married. This person could be married or getting a divorce, going through some legal issues right now. It could be money issues, child support, traffic ticket, criminal paternity, divorce, property. Okay. So, um, there's bumping heads. You guys, um, you know, clash, clash a lot. Okay. When it comes to your communication styles, um, <clears throat> I heard, um, until you both learn to let, drop your guards, this, this, and be more vulnerable. Uh, you can't just one person drop the guard and be vulnerable. And the other person is not, you know, not only one person can be held accountable and the other person is arrogant and not, you know, and prideful and, um, wants things their way. This is somebody here that sees you as secure, confident, boss, bitch, career focused, queen bee here. This person here is off and on with you, hot and cold and detached. They love you, okay? They just, just sure do have a funny way of showing it. We have here blocked. So you could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you, but access denied, okay? And they're in their feelings about that. So, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see what they want to say to you, this person that's effed up over you. They're fed up. You're fed up. They're fed up. Everything is just... I did say it was a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Feels like with this person. Okay, I got picked that up meditation. I was, I did throat chakra solar plexus meditation. <clears throat> what does this person here that's effed up over Aquarius want to say to Aquarius? What does this person want to say to Aquarius? What is this person here that's effed up over a quick? I can't do this right now. So, th so this person just seems to be in a very low vibrational, toxic, negative energy right now. They, they seem to be <clears throat> in, a, in a negative mindset, negative headspace. People don't believe in me, okay? Lower vibrational energy. Uh, not believing in oneself. I can't, right? We, I, I usually used to tell my kids growing up, I can and I will. I can't is not a word we use, you know? And um, so I, I'm getting here sitting in a... Let me get that deck. Sitting in a puddle of self-pity. Uh, possibly pretending here that they uh, are unbothered and unfazed. Tell me here, what does this person that's effed up over Aquarius wants to say?
all these feelings, these feelings are eating me up alive. Feelings there. I'm better with my mind than I am with my heart. So they're not in their divine masculine energy. Divine masculine energy moves from their heart space, okay? Not from their head. We have a have to let you go to find myself. Awesome. Go do that. Go do that. Is it over? Feels like it is. This person has a lot of childhood trauma, okay? And you are so different from anyone around me. That's why I pro I can't promise you anything. Uh, and this person's con their soul is constantly longing for you. They have they have high levels of codependency. I don't want to be alone. Um, and there's that arrogance, that cockiness, uh, ego again, okay, showing up here. So is it over? I have to let you go to find myself. So this person, that's what this person needs to do. They need to figure out what they want and they need to find themselves, okay? So let's see um, what else we got here for this person's energy on your mind. I can't do this right now. These feelings are eating me up alive. I'm better with my mind than my heart. So this person is an overthinker. As you can see, somebody has their head, their face palming, overanalyzing, overthinking everything. They could be worried about you being from the last time you guys were intimate. I just heard that from spirit. They could be worried that you, they may have gotten you pregnant. Okay. Um, you may have a child with this person. For some of you guys, not everybody. Um, or perhaps the secret is they're probably trying to hide something from you here. Okay. A love child or something like that. So only the pregnancy card, again, it's, it's kind of like that children card in the romance angels. It's uh very, uh, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay. But take it how it resonates. So they're thinking about you. They're having nostalgia. Okay, they're fed up with everything that's going on in their life. Feels like a breakdown, a spiritual. Uh, let me, I want to get one more deck here. Let's find out a little more about this. What's going on with this person here from this deck? What Dirty offer, okay? Sorry about that banging. My daughter is moving furniture around as usual. <laughs> dirty offer. So their, their, their offer here isn't um, solid. Okay, whatever offer they offered you, it wasn't real. It wasn't authentic. Okay, we have romantic love affair, sex fix, and secret lover. They probably this is probably a secret. This uh because we saw earlier that uh this person is has a has a family, right? They're married for some of you guys. Not everybody take only what's yours and leave the rest for others. Could be some kind of third party, could be interfering here in this connection we work long distance family friends their unhealthy toxic lifestyle and behavior um tell me here you're wondering if it's over show me this person on aquarius in aquarius of energy always partying toxic lifestyle running they're running they're always partying okay they, that's their uh, codependent coping mechanism as well. That they This just means that they could be a drinker. So what else here? They like to drink and go out. Fake accounts. So fake social media accounts to spy. So they're spying on you and fake with fake accounts, Aquarius. And uh, obsessive lover. So we have, oh my goodness. There it is. Your light irritates their demons. Obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and karmic. So um, this person is obsessive, okay, when it comes to you and your connection as well. And um, your light you irritates them. You triggered them a lot, okay? They're reflecting right now. Look, queen rising again, stepping into your power, praise coming up in spotlight. So this person feeds off of your energy here, okay? Um, it looks to me like you're making the right decision. If you're walking away from this person, they're reflecting right now on their dirty offer that they offered you with no substance. It's like a fake, fake promise. Okay. They, this is somebody that lacks integrity. They don't keep their word with their, uh, dirty, dirty offer. All right. So let's see here. What else for, for this person on Aquarius's mind? 
the magician. Four of Cups. This is this unhappy that we saw, right? In their life. Three of, three of Swords, broken heart. Effed up over, sorry, effed up over you. And look at this queen rising here that we saw. Focused on, where was it? Right here. Uh, career focused, boss bitch, confident and secure. Okay, feeling happy in, in, in your life. You could be celebrating in your life. You could be, you know, this isn't a, a card of a public speaker, an influencer, the page of, you could just be focusing on, you know, expressing yourself. You put up a boundary here with this person that is married or stuck in some kind of um, family dynamic situation, career, job, whatever third party this is, okay? That needs to, it's time for this to end for this person. You set a boundary with this person here. You rejected their cup. You are rejecting their cup because it's not a real offer. It's not a real offer. I'm seeing this magician. It's not the best energy. I'm seeing it as a trickster energy. Uh, the magician is like that Houdini energy, right? <laughs> Often disappearing acts and things like that. But master illusionist. And you're unimpressed with this offer, okay? You're, you're. Um, this is somebody here that you may know from them, may know from the past, that may have a missed opportunity with you from the past, and, uh, and, uh, and they had another opportunity with you here, and they fumbled it. I just heard spirit say that. Give me one more for this person. Gemini energy here, lovers. So. It's looking like you have a strong connection with this person, with this lover's card, okay? But a very important decision. This person here has to go through their ascension. They have to go through their healing. They have to find themselves. Um, it's very important for this person to go do that, okay? It, doesn't, it feels like this person is just not there yet. It feels like this person is just not ready. It's just the wrong timing, okay? Um, again, this person needs to give up a lot of their their... For them to completely surrender to their spiritual awakening, their transformation, they got to stop running from the things that they're needing to face, right? And um, and take accountability and responsibility for their healing work, for their ascension, for taking better care of themselves here with this always parting. So this person's in denial, I heard as well. Uh, clarify the magician for this person's energy. Six of Swords. This is moving on to calmer waters. And the eight. Uh, okay, so you may have had a communication with this person. Magician represents Mercury, right? The messenger of gods. You may have communication that back and forth with this person. And you decided, you made a decision that you were going to move on and leave this behind and move to karma waters. Okay. This person here is probably trying to figure out now with the magician energy and the four of cups, how they can, um, you know, stop this from happening. I'm getting, okay. <clears throat> so you constantly trigger this person constantly here. This person is effed up over you. Tell me about this four. Look, three of swords. Their heart is, this is a, a card of heartbreak, pain, despair. Tell me more about this four of cups. Cl clarify this four of cups for this person here on Aquarius's mind. They're wondering if it's over because you're moving on. You're, you're unimpressed with this offer. We have here the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles here, it could be third party, but it's also this energy of somebody here that, is unwilling, not receptive, okay? With the, especially clarifying the four cups. They're not receptive to compromise, to growing together, to evolving together, to transforming together, to healing together, to ascending together, okay? Look at my throat chakra. That's them. They, their throat chakra is blocked, severely blocked. I'm in their energy right now. I just finished doing throat chakra meditation and, and, and uh, solar plexus. This is somebody that's emotionally unavailable. As well. I'm going to pull from this deck. And this deck. This is somebody that's emotionally unavailable. Um, 
and not very receptive, okay, to, to working together, to compromising, to building together. So can I have, uh, I was about to say, can I have one of the three of swords? It's a, it, you've ma you, I told you this was a test. You mastered a lesson. You mastered a karmic lesson with this person. You closed it out. You closed out the cycle. I don't think that this person came back around and stayed around for too long before you uh, were able to see here. Now you can have a new beginning, okay? Yeah, dating again, going back out there, spending time with your friends. I feel like uh, Saturn is very, be very proud of yourself. And was the last thing, this, this is like one of the things to be very proud of how much you healed codependency. As disappointing as this is, you're disappointed, you're unimpressed. As disappointing as this is, you're good about it. <clears throat> okay, you're focusing on your own happiness. This is definitely something to celebrate. Okay, you finally... You, you mastered, you were sent another test and you mastered it and you feel good about it. You feel empowered. Okay. That's what I'm getting uh, from this. And maybe, you know, disappointing. Okay. But I don't feel like you, um, took too long for you to close this out. Okay. For some of you guys, you may have tried, uh, you're going around in circles with this person here with this world card going around in circles, you know, another cycle with this person for only for it to, you know, end up in the same place, right? So you finally mastered the lesson and now you're moving. This is you leaving toxicity behind, <clears throat> okay? Leaving the five of swords behind. The five of swords is this energy of, I want to win at any cost. Somebody that has, you know, um, and that arrogant ego, that card that we saw at the bottom of the deck, uh, somebody that is just not, you know, not, uh, seeing things from a different perspective, not seeing things from other perspectives other than their own. Um, tell me about, yeah, this person is unhealthy and toxic. Look at this, look at this card possessive. Okay. They, 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 they we saw that, that card, um, earlier. They want it their way. Okay. So clarify this lovers. This is a decision. Okay. A very important decision in love. They need to sit with these emotions that are coming up for them so that they can uh, heal it, right? When they, Whatever the emotions, when they come up for us, it has a message for us. All of your feelings, even the difficult ones, has a message for us. It's trying to crack this person's heart right, right open. feels like you're cracking this person's heart right open, activating their heart chakra so that they can be better with their heart. It's like following their heart, right? Listening to their heart. It's like they can't because... <clears throat> Right here, the moon, Pisces, and Cancer energy. They can't because their heart is out of balance. When the heart is open and healed and you know balanced, right? It, the the it's clear. You're you're more clear. So this person only relies on their mind, and the mind, if it's not healthy, this person's mind is not healthy, right? Uh, you, you can sabotage all kinds of things. When the mind is not healthy, when it's cluttered with uh, poison, poisonous thoughts, negativity, self-doubt, outdated beliefs, limitations, you know, uh, conditioning and programming and things like that from their traumas. Where do we see trauma? Somewhere uh, in one of the, the, the cards here. Um, it, it, that's not the best guide right? That's not the best guide in your life. When you're, if, if you're better with your mind, then you're going to, you're going to end up like this a lot. You're going to be repeating karmic cycles and karmic patterns over and over again. Okay. Until that's the purpose. It feels like are you coming into this person's life? Can I have one on the lovers? They can't make up their mind. You know, they're stuck here in indecision and stalemate energy when it comes to you and taking their sweet time moving really slow. It feels like they are feeling, where did I see pressure? Feeling pressure. I saw that somewhere. We, uh, there's twin flames feeling. Pre yeah. You're definitely be triggering this person a lot, feeling pressure here to, um, make up, you know, make a decision. So this person here is never going to stop feeling your energy, never going to stop feeling the pull towards you, especially if this is, you know, a divine counterpart of yours. And, um, and, they're, and they're meant to learn a lesson. They're refusing, 
They're in denial, like I said. They're refusing to see something. This person is refusing to see something, okay? Uh, refusing to acknowledge something, refusing to accept something, refusing to make a decision, and uh, taking their sweet time to move towards their happiness, which is you, fam. Look at that, nine of cups in the sun to freeing themselves, okay, from whatever situation that they're in. The the lovers is a card of a decision. And I and I and now it feels like this person is feeling some kind of a divine pressure in the heart chakra here to these feelings that are eating this person up alive, right? Uh that they are effed up over you uh, to make a decision. Tell me more about this person. And Aquarius is energy here. They're in this stalemate energy, in denial. They're, again, unable to, to, to follow and listen to their heart. The heart is blocked with the two of swords. When the two of swords comes right before the three of swords. And we never make the, the right decision in two of swords energy if it leads to three of swords. Because they're trying to make the decision, a head over heart decision here. Instead of listening and following their heart, going into meditation, contemplation, um, they're unsatisfied in this third party situation that they're in. I'm seeing three of pentacles with the four of cups, right? The divine is giving them an opportunity for happiness here and for them to heal, but they are, um, not taking it. They're just sitting there, not saying yes, not saying no, you know, and, um, feels like a mental health thing here. Okay. A breakdown somewhat. For this uh, unhealthy, toxic pattern and behavior that this person keeps on repeating over and over again. Um, we got true love at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like this person could maybe waking up to it. They need to sit in this in these feelings that they're in. We got here very soon. The two of swords, the Libra energy here. This person needs to make up their mind, okay, and and make and 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 stick to it and stay committed. The two of swords is a, a very difficult decision that this person needs to make. They need to close out a cycle in their life. And meanwhile, you're just not entertaining any toxicity. You're moving forward and on with your life. Uh, show me this person in Aquarius's energy missing you. So they're missing you. <clears throat> You're in separation with this person. They're missing the passion that you guys have. Okay. Uh, can I have one more for this person? Aquarius's energy and Aquarius's energy. They're going through, that's what this, all this is about. They're going through a spiritual awakening. Something significant is going to happen within a few weeks. And that's exactly where Mercury goes. It feels like this person might, might make a, a return around Mercury retrograde. <clears throat> okay. Uh, tell me more. So they're going through an awakening. Letting go. We have here letting go. When you let go, uh, you're letting them, this person go. Okay. Because this person is in their ego. Okay. And you're letting this person go because you're in your self-worth energy and you know what you deserve. You're not lowering your standards. Okay. At all. <clears throat> My gosh, this person really needs to talk. You're not lowering your standards. Okay. Um, you guys may have a lot of miscommunication. This person struggles to communicate. You, it's hard for you to communicate with this person. Okay. This person may get triggered a lot. Like I said, take everything, not really understand you, not really understand you at all. Not really see you, not get you, you know, just because this person is, has a lot of woundings, a lot of traumas, a lot of, you know, conditioning. Um, you may, you know, uh, whatever your, whatever blind spot, you, whatever this person is mirroring to you and reflecting back to you, you may be, uh, aware of it. You may have held yourself accountable for your part, how you show up, how you communicate, how your words may impact this person or make this person feel if it's judgmental or overcritical or harsh or you know, that may hurt this person's feelings. If this person has communicated that with you, you may have acknowledged that. Okay. That's because you're open and receptive and you are comfortable with vulnerability and being held accountable. You hold yourself accountable. You may have, um, cause you're not in pride energy, right? You have been doing a lot of work on your heart chakra and, uh, in your spiritual awakening that you're comfortable with taking responsibility for the part that you play, but this person does not, does not do that back. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and that's why it's hard to 
compromise with this person. This person doesn't compromise. You know, this person wants it their way. We saw that in the beginning. Tell me more here about this person. So we have here gut feeling under spiritual awakening. So the gut feeling that this person lies. That this person is, is lying. Okay. This person is watching you in the social on social media as well. And there is a soul recognition, okay, that this is a, a, a partner from past life um, that you that is here in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, okay, and um, teaching each other a spiritual lesson. And you have been mastering and learning the lessons left and right. Saturn is here. Okay, so um, I want to know more about this person. We have your family tree. Yeah, this we're could be talking about your twin flame. We saw that twice. Um, there's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, different values, different beliefs and traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. That's obvious. That's very obvious. Okay. So you may have a core value uh, that is integrity, for example, and this person may not follow through dirty offer. They may not keep their word. Okay. I'm talking, this seems to be like a person that's extremely manipulative. And, um, this person may gaslight you, stonewall you deflect when you try to communicate with this person. They're, they're not very, you know, they're, they're a little toxic. <laughs> so they may not be the best at listening and take reflecting, taking a pause before responding. This person doesn't pause before they spring. They, 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 they react. Okay. Because of their traumas and you're just not interested. They don't, they don't like to, to, you know, in, integrity, right? They don't like to take accountability. They run. Tell me more about this person on Aquarius and Aquarius's energy. So lusty, lusty person. Okay. That has, they, like we saw that sex addiction, they may be addicted to intimacy with you. Okay. There is a difference between lust and love, right? So this person here desires you physically. Okay. A lot. Don't let your desire destroy you, overcome the spirit of lust. They have you on a pedestal. So that's why th this odd behavior here. Okay. And, um, they try to probably dim your light. Okay. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty or, or bad for your spiritual knowledge, your truth, and the things that you, sh you, how you shine in the world. Okay. And may be, it may offend this person. Okay. Because the different values, right. The different cultural belief systems. Okay. Um, so you could be triggering some childhood wounds in this person as well. Give me more for this person here. And Aquarius says mind spirit. They're anxiously waiting. They search for you and everything. They feel you everywhere. Always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. Battle of wits. Like I said, <laughs> Battle of wits until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable. This love will continue to be a battle. Bumping heads. We started with that. Remember you, you know, Aquarius's rules. I know it's important that we, you know, look at, you know, um, when we're in our ego, when we're in our pride. Right. Um, but I get it. It's like, don't try to force anyone to see things your way or to share your wisdom, your knowledge, or your spiritual gifts and guide anyone. Okay. That's not ready. Right. To receive. Okay. That's really important. Okay. Um, it's like this person, because they're, they're not very open-minded and receptive because their heart's closed. They're not seeing things the way you see it, your perspective. So it's like battle of wits, right? You know, you got a very strong minded person. You guys are mirroring each other. This is twin flame. Okay. You guys are project, could be projecting back and forth and mirroring back and forth and triggering each other nonstop. All of the things that this person could be potentially accusing you of is what you're accusing them of. Okay. So it's like interesting, right? How the mirroring is taking place. And it's like, this person is, uh, again, the misunderstanding, right? The misunderstanding, the lack of proper, healthy, adult, mature communication. Communication is really important, is, is the issue here, okay? 
So this person here is building an empire. They're really focused on the material things, material world, but it hasn't made them happy and it's only holding them back from love. So this person's superficiality, materialism, four cups there. We saw that here. They're bored with that. They're bored with that. They're bored with the, you know, um, interesting that how all of this is coming out on top very soon. The manifestation is going to come to fruition. Okay. Um, it feels like you have these spiritual gifts, the magic, you're very magical. You're an alchemist that may not, you know, be a part of what this person believes in anxiously waiting uh, with separation under that and three of swords here. Okay. Then we have battle of wits, spiritual awakening and the lover. So it feels like this lover's connection is what's waking this person up. And it feels like there's a spiritual awakening here. It's triggering their awakening, okay? It's activating them. I do feel like the things that you do say to this person, they think about it later. They reflect on it later. And then they, they see your point of view later. It, it requires reflection. It requires going within, self-reflection, right? It requires, you know, uh, a, the, I keep seeing the hermit, right? Uh, introspecting, okay, soul searching, we have here letting go right on top of the six of swords. So that's what it feels like. You're you're letting this person go. Okay, you could, you know, be focused on your career as well at this time. Where do I put this spirit? Okay, I put it right there. Um, we have divine truth here. This the divine is helping this person, you know, uh to evolve, to see things as they really are and bring light to all that's been hidden. We have ego here, right on top of three of pentacles. So this person's ego. Doesn't let them compromise and work together as a team, you know? And then we have self-worth with, uh, on top of the world, which is telling me here, fam, that your, your self-worth, right? You learned the lesson when it comes to self-worth what you deserve. We're not compromising. We're not wavering. Okay. The self-worth here is, uh, the lesson right on top of Saturn there. And then we have gut feeling with two of swords. So this person is not following their intuition. They're not following their gut feeling. They're not following their heart. Okay. So um, their gut feeling is, is trying to communicate with this person. And this person is just not budging, right? Not budging. So um, I want to get from this deck. Maybe they will one day, right? But right now you're better off protecting your energy and staying, uh, holding the vision and staying focused on what you are manifesting for yourself, right? Which is 10 of pentacles, which is 10 of cups. What you are manifesting for yourself is stability and security and, and conscious partner and healthy partnerships and healthy communication. Somebody that speaks the language of your soul. So you don't have in your heart. So you don't have to explain, uh, you know, explain yourself. Somebody that accepts you fully unconditionally for who you are right? And, 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 and it stays to work it out. Not a runner that's, uh, immature and selfish, like that, that energy said in the beginning of the reading, right? That's not going to sit, that's not going to stay there. It's not going to sit there with you and, and work it out with you and talk about it with you and take accountability and validate your feelings and your emotions, right? Instead of being, instead of gaslighting, snow, stole walling, evading, right? The, the, the topic trying to, uh, uh, what is it that people do when you're confronting somebody about something important, they try to turn it around on you, at, uh, you know, to, to deflect from the subject at hand and, and, and take the conversation completely left. And then nothing gets, nothing gets resolved. Nothing gets talked about right? You get nowhere that way, right? And everything is still the same. So this person is, plays mind games. This person is gaslighty, very manipulative. Okay. And, um, doesn't know how to communicate properly. Feels like, tell me about this person. Aquarius is mine. Yes. Yeah, social media got me. In, I don't know. I'll take that. How it resonates for you. Social media got me in trouble. They're caught up in their emotions. Time's up too late. Okay. This reciprocity here is all that Aquarius wants. Aquarius wants, Equal give and take. I pour into you, you pour into me. Show up, I show up for you, you show up for me. Okay. We can have, you know, healthy, proper communication, right? Tell me more about this person. Took too long. They're caught up in their emotions. These feelings are eating me up alive. Uh, what else we have here? Reminiscing, memories, reminiscing. They are being guided to to, you know, get it together here. Get it together. Not to, to not, you know. Um, 
make any kind of impulsive decisions here, okay? No more dis bad decisions, right? That's going to cost them, okay? They're being guided to build the trust to, to, to not have dirty offers here and build up the trust from the bottom up. What else for this person's energy? Uh, things are just, it's just complicated. It's complicated. This, this looks very complicated. What a whirlwind. What a roller coaster is this person's energy. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that up the second the truth will set you free okay this person is being guided to step up look poor judgment this person is con continuously fumbling the bag fam it's like this person is continuously repeating the same patterns over and over again and refusing to get it and they're probably saying the same thing of blaming you saying the same thing about you to you And it's frustrating. I can feel the frustration here in the energy. What else for this person? I'm going to give guidance for you guys. Planning for the future. Okay. But there's clear, it's, there's clear boundaries here now. There's clear boundaries here now. You're not going to let anybody affect your energy. Take you out of character. Take you out of your light. And out of the vibration of love and abundance that you're in. It'll take you out of balance. Okay. You're very rooted in who you are. Not only are you rooted in who, who you are, you know, you're, you're very comfortable with setting your boundaries now and it's speaking your truth. Your throat chakra is cleared and balanced. So, um, and you're not going to take any shit from anyone. What else here? Doesn't matter what kind of lover's connection this is or what kind of label this is. Okay. Uh, can I have one more here for this person? It's hard to say goodbye. This person can't let you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. They try to, though. I have to let you go to find myself. But they're, like, effed up over you. They can't let you go. They don't understand why, okay? They don't understand this is a spiritual connection and that this is something that's going on in the from past life that's coming back for you guys to work out in this lifetime, okay? So it's like until this soul contract is healed and cleared from the past life, this is going to continue to be a thing. Okay, until you guys can work this out or you can completely walk away for good and start a relationship with somebody else. Okay, uh, we have, where do we see that? Yeah, the, the played out, they, they're played out. You're uninterested. Look, you're walking away. You're bored about it. Uh, you, it's, you're not interested in drama. This person is a drama person. Okay, and um, yeah, this person likes your light. They feed off of your energy, steals your idea, copies your work, duplicates you. Look, you're stepping into your power. You're being praised. You're stepping into the spotlight, okay? And this person here uh, needs to take time to, re to reflect, right? And believe. Remember, we saw the pedestal card. Fairy tales do exist. Let me get some guidance for you. I actually want to see what's going on with this person's higher self from this twin flame messages. And I'm going to get guidance for you. I normally don't do readings like this, but I was guided to today. So I'm going with the flow, fam. This is not going to be for everybody. All right. Uh, what is the message that this person wants to say to Aquarius? What's the message? I'm not happy. So this person's misery enjoys company. So this person wants to bring you, drag you down into their stuff when they project their, their stuff onto you. Okay. Look, this person is conflicted. Their, their insecurity, you trigger their shine. You trigger their insecurities. Uh, this person's conflicted and whether or not they have what it takes to be your partner. Okay. Because especially since you guys struggle to communicate and struggle to get along. Okay. Um, they're conflicted whether or not they can meet your standards. They can live up to your image and expectations of them. They don't feel good enough or worthy of you. And it's very obvious, okay, by, based on how they act. I'm not happy. Karma, behavior, people, or situations is playing a role in what's happening with me. And it's hard for me to see a way out. All right. Let's see what else this person wants to say. Remember, we saw the Eight of Swords and that... Uh, Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. It could be this family thing. 
the family belief systems and their family cultures and all of that, right? It could be, there are, there could be, it's a whole group of people here that this person is around that's super toxic. This person's vibration is really low because of that, because they're in the wrong life. They're being guided here to move towards their happiness. They're being guided to move towards their wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, emotional independence, to open up to joy, to open up to happiness. They're, they're being guided towards the light, okay? But this person here is making things harder than it needs to be. They're being guided to sit in these emotions that they're in so that they can heal it, so they can see what it is, the message, what's coming up for them, so they can allow their heart chakra to open instead of fighting it so much with their ego. Tell me what this person wants to say to Aquarius. I miss you. Let's both stop running away. Both of you guys, this is, it feels like a runner chaser, but no one's chasing. There's like two people running. Okay. It's like this person runs, you don't do anything. You don't run after them so that they come back and, and chase you and then probably doesn't stay for very long. Okay. And before you both get triggered again and then separation happens again. Okay. I'm triggered. They're super triggered right now. Okay. Um, an old pattern has surfaced and it hurts. I can feel it. But this right here is a message of growth. Them stopping running the, the, the runner when the runner stops running. Right. Um, and they actually face whatever this is that they need to face within themselves so that they can heal, uh, whatever woundings, limitations, outdated beliefs, programming that they have that makes them feel like they can't step up. It's just easier to run, right? It's just easier not to face things. It's just easier, you know, to, it's a cop out. It's just easier to avoid two of swords. It's just easy to avoid, avoid the things. It's easier to stay in their fucked up, unhappy life, you know, um, uh, than to grow. Than to make the changes, than to than to look towards the sun, than to make a different choice, right? Than to than to uh, step out of one's comfort zone and and create the changes within you and external to you, so you can move towards happiness. So this person is a settling person, you know, and they're going to continue to get triggered over and over and over again, lightning rods, uh, until this person gets it. However long and however many times that is, there's a purpose, okay, that this, there's a purpose for this person coming in and out of your life this way. There's this contract that you have with this person, okay? There's a reason that for, for the triggering. There's a reason um, the, the magnets are repelling, right? There's a reason that this person uh, is get, gets so triggered by you, <laughs> Huge reason for their own healing, for their own awakening, right? Every single trigger is our guide. It's tapping us on the shoulder and saying, look at, but this person gets triggered so much. They don't even know what trigger is what and what they're trying to tell them. Okay. They're constantly, they're a walking trigger. They're constantly triggered. They have a lot of trauma that they have to work through, that they have to sit with and reflect. But every single time that they do get triggered, something else comes up for them, for them to look at. They're feeling pressure because, um, they feel like you absolutely have had enough that you are walking away, that you turned your back. You, you have, you're, you're over it. You're fed up. It's like, you're done, done. So with this cycle, with this pattern, with going in circles with this person. Okay. And, um, and this person here is now feeling like I got to do something about it. Because I can't say goodbye. I got to reciprocate. I got to give. I got to take these action steps towards Aquarius. I don't want, I, I don't want to miss Aquarius. I don't want to, you know, uh, push. This person pushes you away. I feel like you push each other away. It's like you give this person a chance. This person comes back and, and it's beautiful, right? When it's good, it's really good. And you see this side of this person, their, you know, potential, right? And you feel that like that's their true nature, like that's their truth. But then they get like in their head or they get triggered or some shit, ha some kind of misunderstanding, miscommunication happens. And then the spiral and, and the circle and the, and, 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 the, and, the, and the noise and the nonsense and the, all, the, all the stuff, all the patterns starts to repeat. And, and then you're both, you know, run away from each other. You're like, F that. 
I don't need this in my life. Good day, sir. Now, and you're out of there. And you know when Aquarius is out of there, Aquarius is out of there. Okay? And and we met mastered, Aquarius are masters of detachment and moving on. Okay? And um, when you're like, next, you know? And, um, but it's like, I, I feel like somebody's got to come back to love. And even if you're the one that came back to love, you're the one that decided to be vulnerable and drop your guard, right? And decided to compromise and work things out. This person didn't. So that kind of pissed you off <laughs> even more. So you're like, I'm out of here again. I'm not going to try with you. I'm not going to force anything. I'm in the flow. I'm in the, I accept what is kind of energy. Uh, what else here does this person want to say to Aquarius? We're almost done. Words have hurt me in the past. So again, didn't I say this person is sensitive to criticism and rejection? In Aquarius, we can be very honest, okay, with our sword. We can be very honest, and especially when we are at the point of fed up and annoyed with somebody, right? We can say some harsh, brutal truths, and, uh, and it can be cutting. Sometimes, even if you didn't, this person, this person just seems extremely sensitive and fragile and their ego is very fragile to criticism and rejection. Words have hurt me in the past. That's why I fear talking to you. So the, it's, it's the communication. The communication is, you know, uh, the issue here. Our love is eternal. It, 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 and I feel like you may even have tried to compromise on how to communicate with this person. Like we got to work on our communication, you know, uh, let's, uh, talk through the triggers. Let's breeze through it. Let's take a pause, you know, and this person is, isn't, isn't, isn't getting it right. They don't pause, <laughs> you know, they, they don't take anything in before responding or reacting to you. Okay. Uh, they don't sit on it. They don't meditate on it. They don't reflect on it. Okay. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension. It cannot be lost. So let's see. Um, what guidance for you? And then we'll wrap. Gosh, I don't know what 15 minutes, 51 minutes uh, went. Went really, I, this was not intended to be such a long reading, but can stop channeling. I can't do this right now. The runner says, I can't do this right now. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, they're like, can we please stop running away? Message from their higher self. This is your twin flame. That's why there's so much mirroring, so much projecting, so much running, so much uh, clashing, okay? Uh, the past is now behind you. Em release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now open to you. What is the, okay. Only time will tell. Got to let go. Let go. And this is your twin flame soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Um, let me get uh, romance angels for you guys and then we'll wrap. What guidance do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, it's unrequited. It's unrequited at this time. Not the love, fam. Not the love, not the connection, not the passion. What's unrequited is this person's lack of accountability, lack of effort. What's unrequited is not seeing eye to eye, it's not reciprocated, it's not equal give and receive, okay? That could be what the conversation was about that started this misunderstanding, that started this, uh, you setting a boundary with this person, this person reacting childish and immature, not really, you know, um, communicating like a healthy adult, right? Which is the issue here. What is the guidance for Aquarius? We have make the effort. Great, make great love is worth you taking the steps that you're guided to take. I feel like that's where that's where you ran out of efforts to to to. to I feel like you 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 tried. Okay, I do feel like you tried with this person. I feel like you tried. I feel like you um. Not for, you're not in the energy of trying to change anyone or trying to force anyone. You can you can bring the the horse to the water, but you can't force it to drink. Okay, so it's like there's only so much you can do. And this is your we're talking about your true love. That's why this is such uh, affecting you this much here. 
<laughs> it's creating major change, right? In, in both of you guys' life. Okay. So this is the romance of a lifetime. So this person probably has been putting you through this, uh, roller coaster whirlwind of emotions of highs and lows of uh, being in and out of your life for a while now okay and you're just like every single time this person comes back you think it's going to be different every single time this person comes back you 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 know they're, they're they're saying new things or they're they're a little bit more evolved or they are more open or and you, you give it a chance because it sounds good dirty offer it sounds good you know but then but then the pattern repeats, the, the miscommunication, the misunderstanding, the closed-mindedness, you know, and you're like disappointed, disappointed that they're not f further along. They're not, it's like this. It's like, if you're not going to, yeah, you're making a decision to just walk away from this. If you're not going to evolve with me, transform with me, heal with me, grow with me, then this is not going to work. This is not going to work because I'm just going to keep evolving, transforming, growing. And you're going to stay stuck in this karmic loopy loop, you know? So, uh, this is, this is, you know, a fairy tale here, right? It doesn't feel that way. Uh, passion and desire still alive, always there. You guys can't get enough of each other. The passion is really strong. The connection is really beautiful. It's very, it's, it's spiritual, it's intense, it's soul-based, it's transformative and very healing, right? But this person's ego and their pride is just, my God, okay? Uh, we are divine counterparts, right? And um, change is going to come. So whatever the last things here that just went down here within your connection, um, that's going to it create some form of a change within them. Okay. So, um, well, well to be continued, <laughs> I'll check in on you guys. Uh, I love you. Thank you for being here for liking, sharing, subscribing. Let me know how this resonated in the comments below. God bless you. And I'm going to stay much love fam.